of the third period and then all the fun. 48 minutes of time in the penalty box between the two teams thus far. And another 30 seconds left to go for Shenandoah as they lead rival Saratoga 3-1 to one here in this rivalry game just before the Christmas holiday. Driving in is Lehman coming through the slot. Now into the circle, now behind the net. And a whistle here and actually a stoppage of play. And the puck was loose. I think actually, okay, here's what happened. The uh, goal came off the pegs. And that's going to bring a stoppage with nine, or excuse me, 14, 41 left, 30, 13 seconds left on the Shenandoah penalty. We said before, 48 penalty minutes, the overwhelming majority of them coming in that second period. And most of those also were offsetting, so we, all, we are back to even strength with 430 left to go in this one but an extraordinary amount of pushing, shoving, and a near, couple of near fights. But it all leads to a two-goal lead for Shenhoa coming into this final period as Lehman goes in the left-hand circle. Shot on, saved by Walter, rebound in front. Can't get it in yet. Shenhoa is defense able to, going to be able to clear this one away from danger. Bringing up the left side and delivering a forearm shiver to the face is Max McPeely. He loses the handle behind the goal and eventually taking over Brandon Wormley, one of the, one of the ones who was whistled for some infractions back in the second, among many, many others. Puck bounces through and eventually gets to Walter, save made by the junior goalkeeper. That'll be a stop and play. 13:41 left in the period, three to one. And the Hoa out front. Skaters should change for goal. He said Saratoga took all three of the showdowns last year, including the sectional final on their way to the state final for the second year in a row, even though the Blue Streaks lost that one. Coaching change right at the beginning of the season for Saratoga. Shenandoah comes into the season very young, only three seniors on the roster. And somebody's going in the box once again as Burgess was hit on the play. So another minute and a half against Shenandoah this time. And it's going to go against Dave Hunter who was... Getting in trouble quite a bit in the second period. A minute and a half for roughing for Hunter. Saratoga back on the advantage. Their only goal thus far came on a power play back in the first period. Or excuse me, in the second period. Early on in the second period. It seems so long ago since there were so many stoppages in that second period of play. Saratoga finally gets it in. They're down to a minute already on this power play. 12.45 left in the period. Now they're going to have to actually backtrack it with Wormley. Wormley's going to try on the left side, through the neutral zone, trying to get a pass up. Finally does so. Looks like he's trying to go to Lehman there, and Lehman goes right back to Wormley. Wormley over the blue line. Loose trying to hold it. Can't do so, though, and Shenandoah's going to be able to clear it. Lehman backs it up, brings it back in the neutral. Ice, Saratoga resets. They'll try the right now. Bounces off the boards, and he takes a hit into those boards. And now he has it in the corner. Coming on, shot, but it goes well over the top. Oh, almost went out of play there. And then it goes out to the point. Shot on again. This time it's going to be wide to the right. And go along the boards, and they're going to have to back it up with Wormley once again. Hard to try to come and take a little bit of time, more time off the penalty. Does so and forces Saratoga to go through the neutral zone with Bullard. Nine seconds left on the man advantage. They go back out to the point to Lehman. Lehman winds it up, gets a shot off, hits a defender in front. Shenandoah's going to be able to get a breakaway chance here. But actually hustling his way back for the Blue Streaks was Merriman, and he broke it up before there was any shot on the Saratoga goalkeeper. Penalty comes to an end. No shots for Saratoga except for a couple that hit defense in front. 11.30 left to go in this one. And now we're back behind. And actually this one's going to make its way up and out of play. And we're going to have a stoppage with 11.25 left to go.
11.15 left to go in this one. We're going to the length of the ice with Shindell here, and they're going to have an off, or excuse me, an icing penalty. So clock stops, 11.11 left. On and Shen's going to win this one and get it out in the neutral ice now into the Saratoga zone. Racking up with it and getting it around the boards and eventually Saratoga, oh, looks like they were going to try and go to Merriman there, but he let it go through. Now they'll get it out, steal, turnover, and now Saratoga gets it back out, turnover their own, Peyton's going to lead it up the left side. Goes around one defender, can't get it around second, yes, finally does. Trying to get the pass out there to Naples, but Naples couldn't get it on his stick. Back down the length, and we're going to have another whistle against Shenandoah with 10:39 left. Another icing call against the Plainsmen as they try and nurse this two-goal lead. Face off and shot on from Saratoga, but it'll be wide. And no threat to Walter just yet. Behind the goal though. Lustrick's trying to get back in this one. They need two goals to do it. Slap it the behind of Cameron Cool, who's back in the game after a couple of penalties for a near fight back in the second period. Bouncing puck finds its way to Bourgeois. And he makes the save initially, trying to drop it off for the defense chance in front and hit the goalie. Now they're scrum for it, and it's loose. Goals off the pegs. Many things happening, and the clock stops. 10.05 left as we can't find the puck among the mass of humanity. Faceoff's going to come to Bourgeois' left. And it'll be taken by Lehman and he'll break out. In the neutral ice, trying to go up the left, trying to get to Naples, can't do it. Or excuse me, that's on Naples. That is Devin Smith that he was trying to go to on that side. 9.50 left to go here in this one. The rivalry game between Shenandoah and Saratoga. You're listening and watching. Sidelines at timesunion.com. I'm Ben Myers. Play by play. Held and brought in, shot on Walter, and he will cover this one up. Try came there by Nick Winters from the right side, but the goalkeeper was able to make the save with the glove hand and then cover it up. With 9.32 left, we're gonna have another stoppage. Let's give us a chance to step aside as well. Come back with the rest of this one in just a minute.